Well, Coach, has summer become more important than ever because of the transfer portal and getting veterans in? I don't know if it's uh, any more important because, you know, every year we look at it as we have to start over with our team because you, whoever you lose and whoever you come in with, you know, you know you're really starting. You know, I think you've got to reset that part of your program every year in terms of not taking anything for granted. Uh, you know, we certainly have foundation blocks in place where it's good to have older guys back that know they, uh, I think our older guys have done a terrific job helping these young guys uh, coach and you'll see them, they're, they're very active with it. But, uh, you know, ever since we started, we've tried to taper a little bit more this year. We felt uh, that we wanted to do a lot of teaching with these guys early and, and obviously knowing we got a foreign trip here at the end of the month, have enough stuff in it when we're there, we can be ready for certain situations and certainly we'll have everything because we haven't had the entire team together all summer. How beneficial are, is Tobey Walker playing with the Team USA team and then also just him and Freddie going through that whole process the other month? Just what have you seen from that and how benefiting it can be? Well, I think it's been great for both of them. I, I don't think there's any question that uh, it was great for Tobey and the experience he got from it. He would tell you that he loved every minute of it. Uh, I think a situation like that can let a person like Tobey really get confidence and grow, especially with the way he performed. And Freddie went right up to basically the last cut and he was disappointed, but yet, you know, he came back and since he's been back and he's had a terrific attitude and working hard. And, and uh, but uh, I think anytime those guys get a chance to go try out and get to represent our country, I think it's a great thing. Where's Zakai in terms of his process coming back and how's he been beating, I guess, with what he's able to do? You know, I, I think, like if you ask him, he would tell you right now he wants to practice today. I mean, the, when we first started, you know, we came out doing some simple passing drills uh, and he wanted to jump right in and we have to keep holding back. I think if you talk to Chad and, and Garrett, they both tell you he's, he's ahead of where he wants to be, but we're going to, we're not going to let that, uh, you know, come back until we know that he's 100% ready and that won't be until late in the fall probably. But uh, he's, he's itching, and, and again, he, he would tell you right now his left leg's stronger than his right leg, which is obviously a good thing. I think it really shows you how you guys have seen him play and you know what's in his DNA. I think he's gone at this rehab the way you would expect him to do. Uh, he's been a model uh, patient in terms of doing it, but uh, he, he is impatient because he thinks he's ready, which we obviously won't let that happen. We, we got a timetable with him, and we'll stick to that timetable. What was the process of Josiah Jordan James telling you come in, he's coming back and how thrilled are you to have him? Well, I think what he did shows you just how much he cares about this university and, and our basketball program. He knew that we couldn't wait until the very last day to, to build a roster. Uh, Santi knew that, he knew that, they, they all knew that, that we had to, with the transfer portal, what it is with it being so drawn out that we couldn't wait. And, uh, but yet he knew all along that uh, he needed to go through this process he needed, and he was hearing good things right up to the very end and then he just felt like you know he wanted to come back and uh, I think I think I think Joe was disappointed last year that he didn't have the kind of year that he had because he didn't get a chance to really prepare for it the way that he would have liked in terms of missing you know some of the summer then obviously getting hurt again in the year but uh, him coming back and um, doing what he's doing, I think speaks volumes of his love and loyalty to this university. And uh, he's already, he and Santi this summer have been great leaders for these guys coming in. And and uh, that's what we need. I, I think that that's what those guys this year, when, when their time is up, we know what they've done. They've probably played in as many college games as anybody when it's done. But I don't think anyone will ever understand the impact they have made and they're making right now from a leadership standpoint. See from Dalton. You know what, uh, a gym rat, a guy that, uh, I mean, he is in the gym. Uh, I think he's been in the gym every day he's been here. Uh, it's all new to him, obviously, you know, uh, what we do, how we do it. It's, it's new to anybody that comes in here for the first time. But uh, he's, he's had some days where you know, he's, a, he's a versatile player. He uh, offensively is skilled and, and can do a lot of different things. Obviously, defensively will be the big thing. He'll have to learn our system and, and be able to do what we need there. But he's working at it every day. And, and anybody that uh, has the passion that he has, he'll figure it out quick. And obviously, we expect big things from him.
Coach J JP is really intriguing because he's one of those kids that like hit a growth spurt in, in, in high school and kept some of those guard skills. What's what's he got to do to be able to help this year? You know, Rob, probably in some ways I might tell you that JP has been maybe the biggest surprise in terms of knowing it coming in, in terms of uh, his competitive spirit. I mean, he's starting to get, uh, you know, he and Jonas went at it early a little bit, Chris, for his injury. And, and uh, then uh, with Tobey getting back, it's a whole different ball game for him, which is going to help him. But, but in terms of his his work ethic, we we knew he, you know we knew he had the character, and, and I've said many times you don't know about a competitive spirit or a or a work ethic until you're really with somebody. And he has both of those, and he's got a bright future, and he's gonna he can do a lot of different things. It's just a matter of getting consistent, and like any young guy coming in, adjusting to the physicality, the grind of what he has to go through. Because I'm sure he would tell you. If he were standing here, it's been one of the hardest things he's gone through to this point, but uh, he's handled everything extremely well. Now the season's kind of around the corner. How beneficial do you think it was for Fred to be able to come in early and get that right shirt here? Well, I think the beneficial part was uh, the time he got to spend with Garrett. Uh, just the fact his body has changed so much in the time that he's gotten here. And, and you know, once he came in, you know, he, he did spend a lot of time on the scout team and, and not a lot of attention was given to him in terms of what we do as much as him working at, with the scout team. And, but uh, I think the experience he had uh, with the USA uh, team uh, was good for him, but uh, his, his body has definitely changed. And uh, he's, uh, again, a guy that's got tremendous ability, can do a lot of things, and uh, we're excited about him. Jemai Meshack worked really hard on his jump shot last offseason. How have you seen him come along in that department right now? Well, I would say he's, he's gotten better there too, but I think this offseason he's worked on a lot of different things. You know, him not being here, you, you realize how much you do miss the, the intangibles that he brings to our team. Um, you know, he can, he can play now, honestly, he can play every position on the floor. He has, because when Tobey wasn't here, there was times that uh, he played any position he had to play. And uh, obviously going with ball leaders is a great thing, a great, just a great growth uh, opportunity for him in, in a lot of different ways. But uh, we miss him right now in practice. And, uh, but, it, but that's good for him. And that he had had a really good spring and was having a good summer before he left. Coach DJ, kind of a forgotten guy because he redshirted. What, you know, what did you see from him now that he's, I guess, you know, getting into the active rotation? Well, much improved. As, as, you know, and he's improved in a lot of different areas. And I think as he continues to mature and and, uh, and he's and he's doing that, he's uh, extremely athletic, uh, probably the most athletic player on our team. Uh, can do a lot of things that, as he continues, again, to, to learn the defensive side of it and, and learn to stay within himself. Uh, he's got a chance to help us. What does it say about his, his attitude, I guess, in this day and age when kids you know, bounce at, at the drop of a hat that he was willing to come in in red shirt and, and stay and, and work and you know, try to earn his way? Well, I think it speaks volumes about him, but also about his family. You know, they, they're, they're looking at the, the, the long run, and uh, I, I think he's got a terrific future. I do, and, uh, and again, I think he can help us this year in a, in a, in a, in a big way too, but uh, I think it goes back where uh, his family, knew uh, they saw where he was they uh, like us think that he's got a great future and they want to make sure that he has a chance to, to live up to that potential do you want Kim Carr got here a little later than everyone else how's he got to catch up to speed and what do you like about him so far well you know uh, I was with him for the first time where we really I think yesterday is the second well really probably his first real practice and uh, I, we've all, as a staff, have been impressed with his basketball IQ. He's picked up stuff quickly. Uh, he's long, uh, athletic, uh, very long, and uh, shoots the ball well, obviously. But uh, again, for a guy that just jumped right in, he uh, you got to give him some props because uh, he didn't. He hasn't flinched. He just, just walked in, and, and again, he's picked up a lot of good, uh, a lot of things quickly, and which isn't always easy to do. Just from Chris and George, this point, have you seen impressions since those guys got here? Uh, both of them understand how to play. Both of them have the ability to, to create their own shots. Uh, they, they both uh, understand the game. Uh, they, they both, uh, uh, again, highly competitive, highly competitive, and uh, have added to us. Uh, 
and, and again, both of them are still learning the system, but uh, in terms of what they have shown us from their work ethic, their attitude, their, uh, their willingness to come right in and blend in with our, 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 our team, our program, has been great. But uh, both of those guys are going to add a lot to us. Thank you, Kevin.